I was flattered to receive this invitation tonight, and I wrote a piece for this evening called Pressure Point. After the eruption, harrowing, sobering silence crept. Familiar demons finally destroyed any remnants of tender affection. You begged, you pleaded, you demanded sweet pain so many times. This was no different. I would not, I could not, I had limits, but you blurred them all. This would be the last time, this had to be the last time. Shock paralyzed my tongue. Darkness pulled, rage boiled. I must not submit yet again, I hoped. I prayed. I can't go on like this. Strong enough to handle swinging temperaments. Weak enough to cross the boundaries of my morality. Foolish enough to love you, the wrong woman, unconditionally. Duped by grinning, affectionate, seductive deceit. The crowd watched aghast as I played the dolt again. This had to be the last time, dear God, help set me free. Whispers and prayers to pry myself from this living wreckage. Hatred seared and complexity could not define the truth. Damaged and ravished and unable to pull the plug. Blind. I chose to be. My ears rang, swollen from impact. Beastly growls dissipating to faint murmurs, echoing exponentially with every day. Clarity, all too late, killed the rage, but stains were everywhere. Logic nor words could mend the fractured frame. Do something, do anything, just don't be yourself. Time did not rent, time did not erase, clench fists behind viper's venom. Although you encouraged me to follow my dreams, broadening my horizons, testing my patience, mistreating my forgiveness, killing pieces of my soul for your physical gratification. Violence is the currency of your love. Not me though. Sweetness was always my desire. Still is. Third grade lovers, writing names in fresh concrete, Elvis softly telling us that he can't help falling in love. Ice rink dates, makeouts on the couch, sprinting through the woods to a midnight rendezvous by the river. Visions of past, present, and future swirled. Flicker shows of Sunday schools past. Mom's praise to the generosity of the Lord. The sister I always wished I had had and was graciously granted. Lovers and friends taking that one moment to care, one moment to be real. Would I be a man of worth? Would I fall prey to the darkness? Melees, initiation, turf squabbles, reckless abandon, sure. Regrettable, definitely, but a woman, never. Nails on my back, sweet nothings by my ear, slow dancing cheek to cheek and raising a family to be proud of my currency, my dream, not yours. You couldn't stand that I didn't like harming you. You taunted and twisted the knife, poking and provoking, and I failed. I fell servant to the repressed, well-manicured demons of my mortality. I tried to fix what should have never been constructed. Stinging blows and character assassinations, the price. Stop my feelings, crush my face, curse my existence, but you are not welcome to my soul. That is non-negotiable. Past sins, rage, public humiliation, no. No more. I control my destiny, not my impulses, not your rage. This life, along with yours, is a gift. I am both the coward and the hero. The fear of being alone, the fear of being happy, the fear of failure, and the fear of success. I wanted to be your bedrock, so I took the punishment. Until now, I walk away bruised and battered, stronger than before, still searching. Thank you.